So I'm creating a standing wave on my slinky here. We've got a, a cool problem with slinkies now. That's one thing that when you're talking about transverse or longitudinal waves, slinkies are a really fun way to demonstrate it. So we've got a problem with this slinky. Um, we have a wave that's traveling down a slinky like this. Okay. It, it travels, it's a pulse wave and it travels down and back when you've got a slinky that's stretched four meters. So it travels down four meters of the slinky and back four meters. So you've got a wave traveling eight meters in 2.4 seconds. So the first part of the problem asks you what the velocity of that wave is. And then the second part of the problem says you keep that slinky stretched at four meters and you create a standing wave on it. And what is the frequency of that standing wave? So let's figure out what the velocity is. The velocity, pretty straightforward, right? You have a distance and you have a time. So we go back to kinematics. Velocity is distance over time. It's eight meters divided by 2.4 seconds. So you know your velocity of this pulse is 3.3 meters a second. So there's two things you have to figure out in order to find the frequency, right? You have to know what the velocity is and you have to know what the wavelength is. Well, the cool thing about this problem is it says when you're creating that standing wave that you keep, you keep that slinky stretched exactly the same way, which is important. Velocity of a wave depends only on the medium. Since we keep the medium the same, we can use the same velocity. You also have to know what the wavelength is. The problem gives you that you have four nodes and three antinodes. It helps me if I draw a transverse wave. You represent it in a graph form. That way you can see exactly how many wavelengths are in four nodes and three antinodes. If you draw it out like this, you can see that four nodes and three antinodes is one and one half wavelength. So the length has one and one half wa wavelengths in it. So that tells you that our wavelength is 2.67 meters. So now we know the wavelength and we know the velocity. Frequency, is velocity over wavelength, is 1.25 hertz. In this case, the problem doesn't give you really difficult equations, but you kind of have to think about it in order to solve it. So I hope this gives you a picture to think about how to solve these wavelength problems. And I'm going to go ahead and play with my slinky now.